what is Life Township? It's a place where a true, abundant, and full life is Okay, now I want you to read it so the people on, who's not here can hear that some people is here. All right, ready, set, let's read it again. A place where true, abundant, and full life is learned in the family. Garrison Keylor made a statement years ago. It says, thank you, God, for this good life, and forgive us if we do not love it enough. Thank you, God, that you've given us life that we have. And when we stop learning life. how to live life, we lose it. It's in the lack of the value of learning what life really is. And when we stop learning what life really is, we come to the conclusion, I know what it is. Well, I want to prove to you today is that to get to this place called Life Township, but we're going to have to read. You see the word life, you think about bios, you think about biology. Also, the next word, the next Greek concept for this is also a word called suke. Before we get to suke, this, this word bios is found in Luke chapter 8, verse 14. If you read it with suke, you're reading it wrong again. Because you're reading it with, it's my emotions, my will, my intellect that determines what kind of life I have. If you live your life based on your emotions, your emotions are not strong enough and stable enough to really give you fullness of life. So, scientists are trying to find Zoe. They can't find Zoe because they won't let Christ come to science class. So they can't find Zoe, so they stuff they love with Suke. So it's driving them nuts because they're trying to, trying to think life, and life is not a thought, life is a person. And when the church get mixed up, they start playing with bios and suke and forgetting about Zoe because Zoe makes them forget that circumstances don't control me because what's in me allows me to have life no matter what circumstances me. Take something that we don't give. And sin gives him a place in your life. That's right. That's right, yes. So he don't take it, you just choose it. If life is just a suitcase, it's determined by what I think, what I will, what my emotions are, and those are too limited and they're not full enough. To, 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 that's why Jesus says, I come to give you the next level of life, which is called Zoe. This word Zoe is a unique word. Zoe is the Greek word referring to uncreated, eternal life of God, the divine life uniquely possessed by God. Oh, how much life are you losing because your mindsets? Because you put the big God in little you. You locked him up in your mindsets. You won't let him out to be who he wants to be because you rather do it the way you were done, the way you were taught to do it. You were ready, you want to worship the way you were taught to worship instead of having radical, passionate, crazy kind of work. Um, this is the way we always worship, quiet. Well, you were paying. Oh. <laughs> and you're paying too small for a big God that want radical, crazy praise. He want people jumping and screaming and shouting. You keep saying, yeah. my little pan, don't do it that way. <laughs> Well, your Lord blew himself in man, the Zoe life. He didn't blood, because the Zoe life is earth life plus eternal life that equals Zoe life. So what he was telling you is that I give you, remember, eternal is an adjective. Eternal life. Meaning that it's eternal because that's where it comes from. But it's life because he's giving you something that came from eternity for earth living. So if you're not living earth life based on eternal reference and preference, then what you're living is low below what you've been given. Because Zoe life is God kind of life, and God kind of life is eternal life to live earth life based on the way eternity lives. So if you live like an earthling, you're not living Zoe life, you're even living bios or suke life, and that life will not give you full life. Because it's just earth life. It's temporal life. And here is that Zoe life that is a complete different thought process. Because it says that Zoe life is eternal. Remember, eternal is the adjective. Eternal life, the eternal life that's given to earthlings so they can live earth life with eternal perspectives. 
And when you live in earth life with eternal perspective, life don't bother you any longer. So whoever be the president don't matter. But if you're just living suitcase life, whoever be the president bothers you because you're living by emotions, will, intellect, mind, mindsets, and it's below the life that God designed for you. So Zoe life gives you more eternal perspective for earth living. So if you die, so what? But if you have just bios life, you're going to be afraid to lose it because it's something that they taught you from a baby. You fight for life. Somebody died for life, why not fight them? Why am I fighting for something somebody died for? Instead of believing and holding on to it. Mm-hmm.